Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot conflicts between QSM and other plugins or your theme. And this video is brought to you by InstaWP. This service lets you launch a disposable WordPress instance in less than one second. So check out their website at instawp.io for more information. Let's first install the health check plugin. So I'm going to go to plugins on the left hand side. Let's hover, then click on add new. And now we can type in health check in the search box. Now we can go ahead and install the first result. I'm going to click install now. And once it's done installing, I'm going to click on activate. After activating, we can now access the plugin. So let's hover over tools on the left hand side and let's click on site health. And now we are on the site health dashboard. We can go ahead and click on the troubleshooting tab at the top. And now we can click on enable troubleshooting mode. Doing this would deactivate all of your plugins and switch to your default theme, but that will be just for you. So that means your visitors would not be affected. So right now you should try to reproduce the error. And if you can successfully reproduce that error when no plugins are installed and your default theme is active, that means there's an issue with your WordPress installation. And you should try to contact your web hosting provider for more assistance. If you cannot see the issue with no active plugins and the default theme installed, then you should go ahead and activate the QSM plugin. So you would have to go to this tab and click on enable next to quiz and survey master. So like I mentioned, if you do this and you see the error with no other active plugins and with the default theme installed, you'd have to contact QSM support. But if you don't see the error, you'd have to activate each of your plugins individually until the error is reproduced. So to do this, you'd need to go to the available plugins tab at the top. And once again, just click on the enable link next to the plugin that you want to enable. Just be sure to check if the issue is still there after enabling each plugin. You should also try enabling your theme to see if it is causing the error. And if you manage to reproduce the error, pay attention to the last plugin or theme that was activated because this one will be your culprit. So once you find the plugin that's causing the issue, you should contact their support team as well as QSM support. And just let us know which plugin or theme it is. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.